The average lifespan of a Premier League manager is pretty damn short. Then again, if you're Frank De Boer and have lost all three of your opening Premier League games, having joined from a club that gave you the chop after 85 days, well, perhaps it's not much of a life at all. Welcome to football in England's top flight, Frank. It's ruthless, callous and cruel. Just ask Bob Bradley. No! So long as De Boer isn't sacked within the next four minutes, then we will deal with him later. For now though, it's number five, Antonio Conte. Chelsea claimed their fifth Premier League title last year. They also equaled the division record for wins on the trot and recorded the second highest points tally in EPL history. Manager Antonio Conte though, well, he's under pressure. What the f The only logical assumption is that Chelsea have had a horribly poor start to the season. Um, actually they've only lost one and beat rivals Tottenham and an ever strengthening Everton team. What the hell is going on? Oh yeah, probably something to do with this guy. Along with the Diego Costa dilemma, missing out on recent transfer targets Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and Fernando Llorente has heaped pressure onto the shoulders of Conte's fine Italian suit. With a tricky away tie to Leicester later today, a loss could continue to shake things up at Stamford Bridge. I mean, nine managers have passed through the revolving doors in eight years. No one knows what's going to happen. Four, Rafa Benitez. No, technically it's Mike Ashley under pressure. Eh, and the Newcastle fans. Actually, and the poor Sports World employees on zero hour contracts. Wait, Sports Direct now? Eh, I just can't keep up with the madness at St James's Park. It was a catastrophic deadline day for Newcastle, who failed to sign a single player, not even Shefty Cucci. Despite offloading a load of players, most of them you probably forgot ever wore black and white. I mean, look at this guy. Which de Jong is that? Rafa and his championship winning squad are no stronger going into their game at Swansea. A 4-0 pasting in Wales and perhaps Rafa will throw in his hat. There's just so much pressure on so many different people up there, something's got to give. Number 3, a man who laughs in the face of pressure. Although we think he probably cries at night when no one else is looking. Arsene Wenger. Wenger is the only current Premier League manager who actually knows what a good old fashioned tenure feels like. However his 20 years at Arsenal are clearly coming to an end. How soon will the curtains close? A third straight Premier League defeat at home to Bournemouth will surely turn the screw even further into Wenger's fragile side. Poor bloke, to bounce back from humiliation against Liverpool, he's got a once away Alexis Sanchez whose cheers from his own fans sound like this, boo. Rob Holding just being Rob Holding and Meza Ozil acting like he's more motivated than ever to get out there on the pitch and prove a point. We've all heard that before Mezat. Number 2 and you can actually see the bubbles bursting at West Ham. Slavan Bilic has been under the cosh at the East London club for quite some time. Currently rooted to the bottom of the Premier League, three games into the new campaign, yeah, the Croat has done little to prove he is the man to match some high expectations. Despite high profile signings in Joe Hart, Zabaleta, Javier Hernandez and Marko Arnautovic, results are yet to follow. I mean, they lost 3-0 to Newcastle. Come on guys. The first three points of the season will be expected could be expected, should be expected against Huddersfield and could just save Bilic from the sack, even if it's only temporary. The Hammers have conceded 10 goals already this season and without the deadline signing of William Carvalho adding a much needed lump of defensive steel to the team, things could easily get worse before they get better at the London Stadium. But none of that is as bad as 15 miles across London. He goes! Topping the list, it's about time we bring back our main man Frank de Boer. Frankly, Crystal Palace have not enjoyed life under the former Dutch and Barcelona player. A change in style of play from Sam Allardyce's kick the ball forward and run to De Boer's nudge the ball around neatly and keep the damn thing hasn't exactly been a smooth transition. Out of all the managers in this list, De Boer is by far under the greatest pressure. His side faced a trip to Burnley and 90 minutes of nail biting action at Turf Moor. Without their usual shining beacon of light, Wilfred Zaha, and up against an outfit who have already brushed aside Chelsea and shared points with Tottenham, Frank could be packing his bags back to Netherlands by Sunday. Almost 60% of managers only get one job and one shot in the Premier League. This is it Frank. That's all from us, you can hear more from me and catch up on all the best European football on our sister channel Footy Feed. I've made things handy so give the link a little click and you will subscribe automatically. If you've been watching HITC Sport, don't forget to leave your comment below and tell us who you think will be the first manager to get the sack or leave their post. Have a good weekend.